Hey Drifter, this is Iris. Uh, just wanted to get a response back to you on your negativity in the COD community video. Uh, I watched it, I listened to it, you did make some good points and I agree with a lot of them and some of them I don't. And I kind of just want to respond to you in uh, a format that may be best for everybody to hear because there may be a lot of people who are going to agree with me or it might foster some more video responses, some more commentary type responses instead of just comments in your video where I went looking through them today and you know some of them are good, some of them are bad. But I just wanted to get this to you, hopefully it finds you well, and let's get right into it. So basically the COD community is the way it is for a lot of various reasons. And one of them is, you know, kids have the anonymity of the internet. They're able to say whatever they want to whoever they want, whenever they want, in whatever disgusting way they want to say it. And they know that most of the time there'll be no repercussions to them for saying it. Uh, you know, I'm sure there's ways and you know people and other big YouTubers know people that could probably find who these people are, um, you know, but I think it's really not worth it to give them any uh, responses. The best thing that uh, you could do and bigger YouTubers can do is basically ignore them. I think by giving them responses and giving them the time of day uh, makes them feel like, you know, they can do it at any time and he acknowledged me or I pissed him off. I think it kind of motivates them to do it even more. So the first thing I would say is don't even bother uh, with assholes like that. The reason there are more assholes, I think, is, you know, a lot of the audience is younger. I don't think you're seeing it from too many of, I would say, the old school COD vets who have been here since the beginning, like myself and a lot of other uh, probably million or so other players um, you know we're just not like that we have families we're, we're quote-unquote adults now uh, even though we, we play games and we love it but I just think that as uh, the generation coming behind us and behind them they're younger uh, you know they're not respectful to people maybe in general and so they they take it out in the comments obviously it would be nothing they would ever say to somebody face to face um you know it's 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 unfortunate that that's the way it is but it does reflect society in a way now you mentioned other game communities you don't see it like overwatch and games like that but give it time they'll get there and you know there's a lot of uh, call of duty players that play overwatch i know there's a lot of people that I'm subscribed to that post Overwatch videos who are also Call of Duty players and in fact have left Call of Duty altogether uh, because of the way that the game is, the direction that the game is going in more than the community itself. But, you know, there's COD players playing Overwatch. So it's the same people, uh, you know, maybe because that game is newer. I mean, the same thing happened with Destiny. Destiny came out and everybody was on board. They loved it. The community was great. And, you know, now you look at comments on those videos and that's starting to go the same way, too. So it's just a matter of time before they catch up to these other games that come out. Uh, but I think getting overall what the big YouTubers can do to help the community, uh, instead of reflecting on what's been done, let's kind of look going forward what can be done. And, you know, I know you guys do charities and I know you guys do playing with subs and I know you guys do a lot of things that you feel may, you know, help the community in general. But I think something that you guys can maybe try to do to help uh, the community maybe grow a little bit more and become more, uh, get a sense of a feeling of togetherness is, you know, there's nothing wrong with you guys liking some videos on smaller channels. There's nothing wrong with you guys going heading over to TSG and checking out some of the small COD channels that upload there, dropping a comment on their video. Uh, you know, I'll see you. I'll see you personally, Drifter. You'll you'll do some retweets on some videos, but I think this is really addressing big YouTubers in general. I don't really see them reaching down as much in a way where the community feels that connection with them as when maybe they were smaller. There are some YouTubers who are now you know mid to big level that at one time when they were small they were a lot more personable. They kind of knew you. They knew your name, and now they you know. You could tweet at them, you could comment on the video, and they don't give you the time of day. Um, you know, maybe more collaborations with the mid-level YouTubers. You know, there's nothing wrong. Maybe you guys reaching out to some of these, you know, I would say 50,000 to 90,000 subscriber channels and doing some collaborations with them. Um, collabs are really nowhere to be found anymore because, I guess because of money, 
you know, people want to get a sense of getting something out of it, but I don't think it should really be about that. You guys are like well off right now, I would say financially among the, the YouTube echelons. So there's nothing wrong with you guys reaching down every now and then and maybe trying to pull some of these mid-level guys up and maybe even the, get some of these smaller guys to make it to mid-level. You know, I think it would go a long way with maybe binding the community together and it, it'll, it'll grow. And there's nothing you're going to be able to do with these assholes that, that are going to do and say what they want. They're going to ruin it, but you guys have to kind of see through that and see that there are channels out there that are trying to do it the old school way, that are adults, that are passionate about the game, they're passionate about YouTube, they just want to network, they're not worried about the money, they just want to, you know, be relevant with you guys. They want to be able to maybe not be a million subscriber channel, but be able to get some feedback from you guys every now and then because they do stand out in a certain way. There's a lot of channels now where you know, the thing to do about the SEO and thumbnails, you know, that's a whole separate thing. Um, drama, drama sells, you know it does, but I think that market's been locked up by a couple of guys. And, you know, I really don't want to mention names because I don't want to start anything, but there are certain uh, genres within this YouTube gaming that are already taken up. So you've got your drama folks, you've got your news folks, and you've got your gameplay folks. And I think that if you are not going to go down one of those avenues and do what those others are doing you're just going to get lost in the shuffle and there's a lot of great small channels a lot of great commentators who are entertaining uh they're, they're just not able to see the light of day because they just get squashed by all these other big channels and i think every now and then you know maybe you guys go into youtube search and search you know, whoever posted a Call of Duty channel today who's got, I don't know, 100 subscribers and, and look at their stuff. You know, you never know what you're going to find. There's somebody who may be posting their first video today and they may be really good, you know, or they may have posted their 200th today and they may be really good, but they're never going to get seen. They're never going to get known. There's communities that Thunder, you know, there's communities like Thunderstarted, TSG. Uh, you know, great. I've posted there seven times. There's a lot of people who've posted there many times great commentators great videos and you kind of we kind of use that as a way to showcase us and then have people head over to our channels and check us out maybe there should be more community type channels where people can submit their content and maybe have a chance to interact more with you guys and get their stuff seen better you know just some thoughts i just wanted to respond to you uh, you know, I go way back in the COD community. I've been in COD myself for, you know, 10 years. I mean, I was actually one of the Infinity Ward moderators on their forum at one time when COD 4 was around. You know, I, I, I know some people and, you know, I have seen the degradation of the community, but I've also seen that also go in line with the degradation of just, you know, people in general in the world. Um, there's a much bigger audience now. Gaming is a lot bigger. More people have consoles. More people are getting the game. So that small percentage has just grown in line with the, the people, the amount of people that are playing and the amount of people that are just assholes in the world with nothing better to do than just comment to say, go kill yourself and go fuck your mother. So I wouldn't even give them any mind. I wouldn't pay any attention to them. Uh, thankfully, I don't have any of that on my channel. Although after this, who knows what's going to come my way. But listen, you guys just keep doing what you're doing. Maybe reach down a little bit more. Ignore the assholes. It is what it is. You have a voice to the developers that, you know, there are people out there with great ideas too that maybe you didn't think of or other YouTubers didn't think of, but you guys are never gonna know unless your ears are open and your fingers are clicking. Listen, I hope you appreciate it. I tried to be as respectful as I could. And if you wanna talk about it, DM me, get back to me. Maybe we could do something together. That would be awesome. Let's move forward. That's all we can do at this point. Iris out. Later.